Hello, my name's Carla and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to download the new HeartMath Global Coherence app onto your mobile device. So actually what I've got here is a video recording of me downloading it onto my own personal phone. So let me run this through with you step by step. So if you have an Apple phone, you're going to want to go first into your App Store or obviously if you have an Android, you'll just go into Google Play and on the search function, all you're going to need to do is type in two words, Global Coherence and then press search. And what you'll see is this dark blue icon with the white add heart symbol pop up. So just click on the right hand side of that to begin to download the app onto your mobile device. So obviously you're gonna need some 3G or 4G data in order to do that or a Wi-Fi signal to download it onto your device. It just takes a couple of moments. And then as soon as it's done, it's gonna say open like that. So just click on open and then you'll get sent through to the app. And then a couple of things will happen. You'll get this flash up which says, Global Coherence would like to send you notifications. So it's totally up to you as to what you'd like to do here. And you can always change the settings later within the app itself. So I'm going to click Allow. So as soon as you do that, something else will pop up, which says, Allow Global Coherence to access your location whilst you're using the app. So there's a really cool function within the app itself, which allows you to look at the world map, which shows in real time who's using this app any anywhere in the world. So you can see who's contributing their heart coherence into the planetary field as well as you. So it's a really cool function, so I'm gonna click allow there. And then obviously because this is the first time that you've downloaded the app onto your mobile device, you're gonna to need to register for an account. So just click on that blue icon there right in the middle of the screen and you'll get sent through to this page. So all it asks you to do is just to pop in some very basic details, your first name, your last name, and then an email address of your choice. So as soon as you've done that, just scroll down for the last couple of bits, which is just typing in a password of your choice for this app. So I just encourage you to choose one that's easy for you to remember. And then as soon as you've done that, just click done and then continue. And then you'll get sent through to this screen, which says, welcome to the Global Coherence Network. Your contribution is important. Lift yourself, others and the planet. So just click continue on that one and then you'll get sent through to this screen. Now, because of new regulations, we have to prove that you're 16 or older in order to use this app. So that's why I asked you for your date of birth there. Now, it's totally up to you as to what you wanna put for this, but we would encourage you, because HeartMath hopes to collect um, data to facilitate in their research, data about HRV is actually quite age specific. So if you can, be completely honest about the year of your birth, but you don't have to be honest about the actual date of your birth. So as you can see, I proceed to do this here. And then once I've done that, I've got a few options. I would like to receive special offers from HeartMath, inspirational updates, and I give permission for HeartMath to use my anonymized HRV data in their research. And again, your name or data is never shared with anyone else. So I'm definitely gonna click on all three of those and then press continue. And once I've done that, I'm gonna be sent through to this screen and you'll see this thing pop up. Now, obviously in order for the app to record your coherence or your HRV, you're gonna need a HeartMath device. So if you have a wired sensor, you can plug it into your mobile at that point. Or if you have a Bluetooth sensor like this one, the inner balance, then you can proceed with connection. Now, there's a video which explains this really easily step by step here for you. The important thing to remember is that you don't actually need a heart math device in order to contribute your heart coherence to the planetary field. So what I'm actually going to do at this point is I'm going to click on the icon which says continue without a sensor because it'll take me straight through to the app and I can start to deposit my heart coherence. So as you can see, that's what I do and I'm in the app now. So as you can see, I've got a couple of options in terms of which groups I can now join and deposit my heart coherence into the planetary field. I've got these global groups depicted by the magenta, the pink color, and even an event which I can join. And then the uh, my groups, as you can see, I'm not a member of any groups yet. So I can now proceed to join a group or even create a group. And there's a really helpful video here which outlines how to do that really simply, step by step. 